One of the most important of those factors is, of course, our diet. In fact, you recently spent some time with a noted doctor who said we should all be eating more water. <laughs> Dr. Howard Murad is a famous dermatologist and author who in recent years has become passionate about painting. He says that in sessions like this, he's doing a lot more than just creating a work of art. He's also working on something he calls youth building by helping his body deal with the stress that has become so much a part of modern life. Dr. Murad says the ultimate key to good health is the ability of each cell membrane to hold water. The most important element that we can determine is your intracellular water. As your intracellular water increases, by definition, you're healthier, you're younger, you're, more, you're less stressed, you're more energetic. So the idea is giving every cell in your body the best environment for itself to take care of itself and function at, at its highest ability. To help accomplish that, Dr. Murad's patients also learn about internal you know, skin care. You, you've been on the, most people think skin care is just what I put on my skin. So what you put on your skin just goes here, the top layer, the epidermis. That's only less than 20%. What you put in your body is more important because that's 80% of your skin. I call that internal skin care. So the idea is in order to make your skin as healthy as possible, I have to take care of you as a whole person. What begins to happen as we get older is our cells begin to get, the cell membranes become thinner and thinner and thinner, and they become porous. They begin to lose water. As they lose water, they can't function at their highest level. And when they can't function at their highest level, the aging process becomes. To help our cells function at their highest level, Dr. Murad has created an approach he calls inclusive health. Inclusive health is looking at every single cell in your body and trying to make adjustments. Now, what can we do to build youth in every cell in our body? And it's a combination of things. I call it three pillars. Number one, we need to apply agents to our skin, to the surface of our skin, to reduce damage from the environment. That includes antioxidants, agents that attract water to the cells, as well as maybe sunscreens and other agents that would be helpful. Number two, what we eat is very critical. Our cell membranes are made of amino acids and lipids. Eating the appropriate amino acids and lipids can make a big difference. Along with that, eating foods that are rich in antioxidants. And what I tell people, instead of drinking your water, eat your water. Raw fruits and vegetables and have structured water, which oh, penetrates my. in your cells better than tap water. They have antioxidants, all kinds of phytonutrients. They have roughage, and they have something we call prebiotic. So we boost the immune system. And finally, understanding this really deleterious effect that I call cultural stress can make such a difference. Now, cultural stress is a new kind of stress that I've discovered. It's constant and pervasive. It's here constantly. What it is, is new technology. You're on your cell phone all the time. But in the past, you would work your eight hours and you'd be done. But now you have your emails and voicemail and everything else when you get home. Uh, you're listening on the news and you're getting all kinds of bad messages about terrorists and everything else. You go to the airport, you have to be there hours early to take off your clothes. All of that is constant and pervasive. It's a stress that has deleterious effects that are enormous on your overall health. Dr. Murad says painting helps him deal with the cultural stress in his life, and he says it's important for all of us to find ways of bringing more balance into our lives. He also says it's never too late to start improving the health of our cells. Well, we have a 10-week program. That 10-week program is very interesting because every cell in your body is renewed every 10 weeks, roughly. Your skin turns over once a month, your liver about every six weeks, your bones about once every three months. So within about 10 weeks, we have all new cells. As you go through that 10-week program, if we can make modifications in what you're doing, we can modify all the new cells that are being developed. Again, it's a three-pronged uh, program. What you put on your skin, what you put in your body, as well as what you put in your brain, which may be the most important. Details on Dr. Murad's inclusive health approach are in his book, The Water Secret. And I read the whole thing and it was um, very, very enlightening to me and I really put together um, an integrative approach when looking at my own health. I think I made, I'm making it more of a priority to see 
my friends and to spend quality time with them. Put aside the cell phone, um, put aside the computer, and just spend more time with them because it really makes you feel good. It's part of the whole process and part of the whole balance. He put me on the program, which he, he gave me small steps, which was nice because I have I work full time. I have three kids, so I have a very busy life. I finally realized it wasn't just about my face; it was my whole body. I needed to take care of my whole self. So, so Dr. Murad's approach to optimum health goes far beyond the surface of skin care. It's a deep philosophy for living that's found expression not only in his medical practice, but also in his art and in some memorable observations. I like the way Dr. Murad talks about youth building. Well, it's a lot more positive than the anti-aging label that seems to be so popular these days. <laughs> I'm assuming that Dr. Murad's book has some specific suggestions about how we can eat more water? Mm, he does. It has a lot of juicy recipes, and in fact, next week he'll be back to cook one of them for us, a dish that could work for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs>